Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and my oh my is it time? Is the fabled day before actually coming out? Well, it's not actually fully coming out. Looks like it will be coming out in Steam Early Access. I had thought that it was scheduled for a November release, but I mean the Steam page is up. We got a planned release date of December the 7th and baby, it looks like it's finally gonna be coming to fruition. It if you don't know, this is a game that when it was announced generated a lot of hype, a lot of anticipation. People were talking about, is it the Division cross with The Last of Us? What a title that would be. The idea of this open world zombie infested uh, title where it had multiplayer as well looked like a pretty compelling experience. And then it came to the realization, many of us did, that this game may not actually uh, be coming out delay after delay and the title kind of gave off vibes of is this just vaporware but it looks like it's actually coming out now with a game like this i would very much be going into it with your expectations tempered you know it's nice that it looks like and again imperative emphasis on it looks like it's coming out on December the 7th because I'm still not fully sure based on the fact that wasn't this game just scheduled for November a little while ago and now it's been adjusted to December yeah I don't really know what's going on there they did make a statement as far as that uh, is concerned. November the 1st, yesterday, they put out this statement. We won back our name the day before. Remember, they had uh, some legal uh, trouble with that as far as whether or not they could use the day before name. We dedicate the victory to all of our future players, and it's all for them. For five years, we've been doing our best to give people this dream game. We also want to thank our volunteers for their constant support and faith in us. The Steam page has already been restored by Valve and will be opened very soon. It's live right now as I'm recording this video. The game's release has been slightly altered and delayed to December 7th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. It was scheduled for early November. It will be early access on Steam since this is our first huge game and there may be unforeseen circumstances. Full version release will be happening when we are certain that this is the best version of the game possible and we believe that player feedback and involvement will greatly contribute to achieving this goal. The next-gen console version will also come with the full release. So no console release right now. The console release will come when the game goes out of early access and in full release. The confirmed price is $39 on early access and $49 on full release, those who bought the early access version obviously will not need to repurchase the full game. No pre-order attached to the game. Um, yeah, let's just see if it comes out. Uh, they also have, obviously, their details page. I mean, the, the Steam page has been updated, and they've got footage rolled out. It looks okay. Uh, definitely doesn't look like it's an awful game or anything like that. Like, the game still looks relatively compelling. I don't think it's that big of a stretch to say that. I know some of you guys are super down on it. I'm not super down on it, I'm super skeptical about it. Whenever a game has this much turmoil, you always have to be like, whoa, what's going on here? Hell, I was one of the few people, and I'll take my victory lap all day long every time I mention this, that when Cyberpunk 2077 was delayed multiple times, I had my skepticism with that game. I was thinking, whoa, there might be trouble in paradise with that game. The day before, uh, this ain't a CD Projekt Red working on the game, and I had that level of skepticism with uh, with Cyberpunk. Day before, uh, seemingly had equally as much, to say the least, or even more turmoil than Cyberpunk had, and... Um, Again, there's been a lot of, like, mystery attached to it, so to speak. Now, the day before, again, the Steam page has been updated. It offers players a uniquely reimagined journey into post-apocalyptic open-world MMO survival set in the present day on the U.S. East Coast following a deadly pandemic. It's, uh, it notes survive at all costs, fight other players for survival, survive against the deadly infected, collect valuable loot, discover the new post-pandemic world, explore the beautiful and richly detailed new fortune city, enter tall skyscrapers, business centers, massive malls, grand stadiums, and more, and uncover distant surroundings of new fortune city on stunningly detailed vehicles and rebuilt, uh, rebuilt society, join the Woodbury survivor colony on its mission to rebuild society, trade items in Woodbury, and save your wealth in a personal storage room, build your own home in this safe zone, and then we've also got system requirements, which I'll get to in a second, but for early access portion, they note a lot of stuff. So this is important information. The game is in early access because this is our first huge game at Fantastic, and there may be unforeseen circumstances. It also lets us refine and improve the game in collaboration with the community. We're hoping to be in early access for around six to eight months, but this could change. I would take that six to eight months very tentatively. Like, that is very likely to change. And I could, like, six to eight months is not a lengthy early access period whatsoever, so... 
you know, I'm thinking a year. The full version will be released when we are confident that it represents the first version, the best version, excuse me, of the game possible. How's the full version plan to differ from the early access besides bug fixes and improvements to balance and core gameplay? We plan to introduce additional content to the game, new items, weapons, equipment, cars, and houses, pretty typical standard stuff. The game is playable in multiplayer, allowing players to fully immerse themselves in a post-apocalyptic open-world MMO survival set in the present day on the U.S. East Coast following a deadly pandemic. Players can explore the beautifully detailed New Fortune City and its surroundings, fight each other using realistic weapons, complete quests, build their own houses, buy cars, experience day and night cycle, uh, changes, and face deadly infected. We have implemented everything we wanted for the game based on our vision of a post-pandemic survival experience. Will the game be priced differently? The price of the game will increase again, $49 after full release, $39 in the standard uh, release. We will be taking feedback and suggestions from both the community here on Steam and across social media. So, that is all the early access detail. Final stuff to note, system requirements are relatively tame, all things considered. Minimum, you're looking at a Core i5-8400 or an AMD equivalent. 16 gigs of RAM, which seems to be the standard. I wouldn't scoff at that being minimum at all. You see a lot of games these days go 16 gigs minimum. GTX 1060 or AMD equivalent, and then recommended i7-8700K AMD equivalent, okay, 16 gigs of RAM, okay, GeForce uh, 1080 Ti or AMD equivalent, okay, all that is fairly, uh, like, standard, That, that that's nothing crazy, it will be interesting as an early access game to see how this game performs, since that's always, you know, with early access titles, especially a game like this, where it is going to be heavy multiplayer and uh, a vast world to explore, that could get a little bit dicey, I wouldn't expect, like, if they get a consistent performance out of this game, like in the early access period, right at launch, hey, more power to them. But usually, you know, it's early access. They're going to have performance bugs. They're going to have bugs, glitches. I don't really, I'm not going to scoff at that too much. They do note storage size requirement is 55 gigabytes. So there you go. That is all the information we know about day before now. I would still approach this incredibly skeptically, incredibly, dare I say pessimistic? Is that taking it a little bit too far, guys? Is, uh, you know, you guys know me. How I view gaming in general, is always view everything with pessimism. Oh, they say a game is going to come out in 2024? That game's coming out in fall of 2025. That's how my brain is wired because I've been through this song and dance so many times. You know, when I was a wee lad and I was excited for a game called Lost Soul Aside back in like 2016, I was like, man, we're going to play this game in 2017. This game looks so cool. You know, Devil May Cry style gameplay with the action RPG. This looks so cool. I can't wait to play it next year. It's 2023 and that game still hasn't come out. So, so that that stuff like that stuff like vaporware stuff like kotor seemingly being canceled that is always gonna make me be like yo let's just wait and see as far as when these games come out how long the early access period is gonna be you know and it's just not stuff like lost soul aside it's stuff like bad pc ports and everything like that i've become very very pessimistic uh with my days as a gamer in general like uh the industry uh chews you out sometimes when you get excited for things so just you know, I'm always one that keep your expectations low. Hopefully, they'll exceed that. And they kind of did that with Alan Wake 2 system requirements. They kind of overshot and made me think, oh my goodness. And then they over-delivered. Hey, more power to you. You want to do more stuff like that? Feel free. But that'll do it for me. Let me know your guys' excitement level at this stage of the game. Still not sold on it? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.